Taunton Town 4, Bishops Lydiard nil. I mean, it's, you know, it's back where we were nine months ago, I guess, Rob. Uh, how, what do you think of the performance tonight? I was, I was pleased with us tonight. You know, I was pleased with us. It's, it's always tricky, these games. They came down, they worked really hard. Credit to them, they worked really, really hard. Right through 90 minutes, their subs worked really hard. And it, it was a really good game for us tonight because... Uh, clean sheets we scored four should have scored more you know that, that, that's my probably my one criticism tonight but you know the crucial thing is getting crucial players m minutes um, we've got the two Covid lads uh, full 90 so that's, that's really really important and and several other lads got last chunks of the game so you know we're three games in since early November so you know it's, it's baby steps at the moment we, we haven't got any injuries we're um, just uh, we're just tweaking things, you know. Yeah. So it's good. Yeah, it's, it's all good. But loads of positives. Good. Tonight. And I mean, as you mentioned, you know, you've got some of the COVID admissions. I'm sure you know plenty of other clubs have have you know a couple of those here and there. Yeah. And it seems that it, I'm not sure if Taunton Town are, are, are big on squad depth. How, how do you feel like the depth is, is really going to help you sort of, especially towards um, the end? We'll of never the work with the biggest the squad. You know, that's not the way I like to operate. Mm. Um, so we want, you know, I like to keep them close and tight, and and, and, and but they're fit. We always mm. our demographics always fit younger players. To be fair. Um, but yeah, listen, I think the COVID thing will certainly have an effect and there's a lot of teams in, in a lot worse position than us at the moment. So, um, but, you know, fingers crossed. Yeah. And I, that I, one we can't affect. Yeah, well, this is it. And I mean, who knows what's going to happen. But anyway, that, that's, that's, you know, months, months at a time, I guess. But, uh, and I suppose you mentioned goal scoring a little bit earlier. I suppose Lewington's, you know, proven to be a little bit of a goal machine. Uh, yeah, Jared, you know, he comes in, he's, he's very positive, you know, he works really, really hard. and. Uh, his first goal was superb tonight, to yeah, be fair. Definitely. And, uh, you know, we've obviously got, as you, as you look, I guess, towards the start of, of the new season, you know, what, what do you make of the first three games? Like, what, Wimborne, Dorchester, Met Police, what do you make of those? Uh, there's, the, there's just no easy games, you know. It, it certainly <laughs> we said that two years ago, it's still the We same, said that, and I think, it, in, in fact, I think it's got, I think it's got worse. Mm. I think, um, I think the, 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 the league has changed again. I think there's going to be, I keep on getting to them. I think the league has changed again. I think it's got stronger, you know. A couple of years ago, three years ago, there was always one or two teams where you were guaranteed you could have a really tough game and then you knew you were going to go and win the next game, you know, if you applied yourself yeah. for an hour, 70 minutes. That's not the case, you know. You know Wimborne at their new crowns, you know. It's Dorchester signing some, you know, signing ex-prem yeah. players, you know. So I think every game is going to be really, really tough, you know. Beaconsfield has signed well. And then there's the usual eight or nine who, uh, who have signed well again and are strong, established teams, you know. <laughs> You know, there's probably half a dozen teams that should be in the league above, I think, mm. at the moment. But uh, it's not going to be that way. So it's going to be a hard league, but it's, it's good. It's what we're in it for. You know, I think we're certainly more than capable of certainly getting in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be. You know, that's what we want to do. It's no secret that the club wants to get into the next level. We want to get into the next level. I want to manage in the next mm -hmm. level. You know, it's make no secret of it. How we get there, if we get there, a totally different thing. Yeah. And what do you make of the two new lads in goal to the, tonight? That was good for Marco. You know, we, we needed we needed some backup for Lloyd. And... Um, He's come in, he's trained really, really hard, he's a character, and I think he did well. And you know, young Shea's part of the BTC group, yeah. and uh, I thought he pulled off a couple of great saves, and we wanted to give him a little bit of game time, again, to reward him for what he's done. He's come in, you know, they've got a nice little goalkeeping school now. Mm. Um, you know, Connor's been fantastic, you know, coming in, coaching them, very, very good, yeah. you know. His, his detail is, is absolutely superb. Yeah. So, you know, I was pleased with them yeah, tonight. Good. And I mean, it's almost a player pathway on show tonight, especially with, with you know, us facing Bishop Lee. I'm getting bitten now. Uh, so, yeah, I suppose we look forward to, to next week. I believe it's Chippenham. Uh, so what, what do you make of uh, uh, next week? As soon as Chippenham, you know, so we're going to go up a cog. Mm -hmm. We're going to go up a cog on Sunday at Slimbridge, at Slimbridge on Monday, Tuesday, yeah. whatever it is. And then Chippenham again, yeah. you know, so we'll get an idea really where we are, you know, so... Uh, no, again, it's, it's it's small steps, and then we get into the last few weeks of the season, and we'll start um, turning things up a little bit. Brilliant! Thanks very much. Always a pleasure, Rob. Right, Josh, Cheers. Thank you very much. Yeah.